very good evening from uh, Momsa, another Marcus Ericsson fan club interview. Uh, today we'll cut to the chase. To me, there are three classical uh, racetracks. It's uh, Monaco, Spa and Monza, and you have been on the podium on all these three tracks. Yeah, that's quite good, I would say. I mean, uh, as you say, that's probably the three most classic tracks on the calendar, and uh, probably three of my favorites as well. So it's great to be, yeah, been on the podium on all three of them. So uh, really pleased with that. Yeah, it was uh, amazing. To me, it was amazing, and to all the fans, it was amazing. You started uh, P5 and into P uh, turn one, you were P3, passing Valsecchi. Yeah, I mean, I had a quite good start, and obviously Guido had a problem off the line. So I already gained one place there, and then I managed to outbreak uh, Davide into turn one, and was running P3 then, so uh, good, good start, good first lap. Yeah, and then you were traveling P3 all the way uh, until the pit stops. You were on the tail of Felipe all the way there. Uh, you came out again, and uh, lots of cars hadn't pitted. And then Chicotto pitted on lap 13. I didn't see it coming. Did you see him coming? No, I didn't really know. We were doing fine, you know, following, as you said, following Felipe and, and Chilton. And I thought it was only them uh, that we were racing. But. Uh, but yeah, obviously I think we missed that Chicotto was uh, running long and uh, I didn't really know we were fighting him. But uh, then, yeah, I saw him coming out of the pits and yeah. it was a bit unexpected for me. And uh, unfortunately he just got out ahead of me and I tried to attack him the first two laps when he was on a bit of colder tyres. Yeah. I was really aggressive but he defended well to be fair to him and uh, after that I just decided to calm myself down a bit and save tyres and make sure I was going to be strong in the end of the race. Yeah, see, so we're traveling P4, and I thought, ah, darn, just out of the podium. But uh, there were some people uh, watching the live timing better than me. They saw that you were much faster uh, than Chilton. So, uh, Chicote passed Chilton, and you were on the tail of Chilton then. Yeah, I mean, we saw, as I said, I, I tried to attack Chicote, but when I realized I couldn't really get past him, I just decided to stay behind him and I saw that both me and Johnny was was catching Chilton and uh, yeah she got to do this move quite fast and I think one or two laps later I managed to pass Chilton with a good move into the first chicane so that was great I mean it, to finish fourth is always a very <laughs> frustrating place and to be just out of the podium and especially when you've been running third for the first stint so it was great to, to, to do that pass and it was a great pass as well so uh, important to be on the podium for sure. Yeah, I swallowed my tongue <laughs> while you were passing there. <laughs> but it was it was rather swift uh, anyway. Uh, we have to mention your teammate Jolyon as well. He started uh, P15 and made uh, a great race, finishing P7. Uh, did you see anything of him? Did, did you know what he was doing during the race? No, no idea. Obviously, you're focusing on your own race, but. No, we looked at the race after and he did a good, great race and uh, managed to get up in the top eight. So uh, it's good for the team to have both cars in the top eight. And obviously for tomorrow we have a good chance to have a really good uh, result for, for iSport with Joe starting second and me sixth. So hopefully we could have a double podium. That would be awesome to, to finish this weekend off. But uh, yeah, we just have to see tomorrow how it is. But both cars, both me and Joe, was really strong on the pace today. So I'm sure if we have a bit of luck on our side, we could be fighting for a double podium tomorrow. Yeah, it was a real iSport day this. Uh, one of the few times you have been both on the reverse grid. Uh, okay, so for tomorrow you will be starting on prime tires, right? Yeah, we'll be on primes, yes. So what's your strategy from the start? Starting from P6 then? Yeah, I mean, it would be difficult. It's always uh, sprint race is a bit more static usually than the, the feature race because there's no pit stop. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's always in GP2, the first two laps are very, very crucial and hopefully we can jump a couple of places and, uh, and yeah, be fighting for a podium in the end of the race. That's uh, the goal for tomorrow for sure. Yeah, I hope and beg for a podium tomorrow as well. Uh, with today's result, you were in front of uh, the three guys in front of you in the championship, Lima, Chilton and Van der Garde. And actually, you finished in front of everybody 
in front of you in the championship. Oh, really? Not <laughs> bad, <laughs> huh? huh? Uh, actually, do you know who has scored the most points the last three races? It's probably me, but yeah, since you're saying it. it's you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep it up for the last uh, three rounds then. Yeah. And uh, tomorrow it's Formula One. Uh, I hope we can be back and do another interview. So I say, like I said yesterday, see you here tomorrow again after the podium ceremony. Very good. Best of luck. <laughs> Thanks a lot.